Hi everyone, tonight we're going to be doing a twilight inspired look and it's to do with the perfume launch and yes, yeah, it's a collaboration video so for the review, pop over at my mateys Katie's channel and I'll put all the links up soon now this is the look we're going to be doing but obviously I'm not as light as her with blonde hair but we'll go for it I really hope you can see it's quite light she's got really smudged dark brown eyes and it's gone off smudgy dark brown eyes with a really melon kind of coloured lips so let's have a try and let's turn my camera funny we're filming in HD today guys yes I feel it's quite uh, quite spoiled to have a nice quality camera for a change I mean look look how much you can see it's a bit too much isn't it and you can see everything from spots to to unplugged hair terrible Right, let's start. Now today I'm not going to be putting any primer on because the eyeshadow I'm using is sort of matte and it's by Bobbi Brown and it is called Birch. I'm just going to blend some of that. Well actually we're not. We're going to take an eyeshadow brush and I've got no mirror. I'm going to use the lens, the actual viewfinder thing. So I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid. I hope it's light enough for you. So just putting that all over. Oh, what's that? I'm using a wet brush and it's gone and picked a chunk up of the mat. I've been cleaning my brushes, which, oh, by the way, you need, I'm going to do a tutorial on that and just show you what I do because I get a lot of people asking. So we're just going to blend that birch colour in there, like that. You don't want it going too high up, just kind of past the crease. It's, it's not too bad of a colour, but not my favourite, because I'm a colour mad person. But there's not really many twilight looks that I've got loads of colour on, so it's going to be a bit of a bore for me anyhow. But I know a lot of his lovely natural looks, so we can't win, can't lose. It's going to just get that on. Now, because I've got no mirror in front of us, it's going to be a bit hard. So, I'm just going to make it up as I go along. And let's just hope it goes right there. Right. Get that on like that. Yeah, I'm dead excited with my new camera. From what I can see, this quality is quite good. I just hope it looks the same once YouTube condenses it. Now, what was I going to do? Tight line. Right. Let's do some tight line and this should be fun. I'll put my eye out. We're going to take a black liner and we're just going to gently lift the eye pretty hot and just gently darken it out just on the outer corner. See how already it's made the eye look beautifully kind of enriched and same again on this side carefully this is called tight lining and it takes a while to get used to because it it's so tickly and your natural eye defense is to quickly shut it down but it just lifts the end up look mmm Mindy without making it look a bit too over the top so that's what we've got there a little bit there because we're not going to be using liner today now for the bottom I got this and I said I was going to bring some cheaper brands to you. This one's by Collection 2000. Where's the number? It is. There's no name. I don't know. I don't know what, that, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, the Shimmer and Intense Eye Colours that glide on and last. Let's hope it does. Black on one end, silver on the other. Nope. And take the black and I'll show you what it is. There's a spring and it springs off really fast. So watch your eyeball. And there's a little bud there. Can you see it? And inside there is the mixture. It's quite cool how it works. Dab a bit off there. Now let's see if we can get this on without the mirror. I'm just going to gently smudge it along the lower lash line. Remember to be thicker on the outer corner. Bringing it in. And then as you get in, you don't want it to be so smudged and so thick. So 
so tidy up it's not a problem if you make a mess everybody does from time to time and the same on this side this camera is very close up you're going to see all my flaws but hey there's nothing we can do about that we've all got them I was actually quite funny today because I was reading a magazine and I haven't done for ages I stopped reading magazines because it used to be so biased about fat people, thin people and she's lost weight, she's put on weight and all that so I stopped buying them and I still wonder after reading them why I felt so bad and I'm so upset but now I know why because going back to have a look at them today all over the front was she's put on stones, she's took off stones, she's dying thin I mean come on it's just ridiculous isn't it? You can't win and everything is about how to look thin, how more you'll get on in your career if you're thin, how you'll be more liked, how you won't be liked if you're fat. And it's enough to make you want to jump off the cliff. So now I know why I stopped buying them. But it was funny to kind of go through and have a look at them today. But um, hmm. anyway, we're using this and it's again just still a convertible eyeliner. And it's onyx and it's like a black liner. I do like it. And we're just going to gently run this along with waterline. Waterline is the dark part. Go right in. And same again on this side. Right in. Ooh, just painted my eyeball there. It does look a bit different on that side, but it's not, I promise. Right, now, quick, quick, quick. Where is it? We're going to be putting a bit of this on and it's Collection 2000 again. Look at the brush on that, that is amazing. I like the look of that. And it was cheap as cheap, I think like £2.99, £3.99. Oil Amazing Mascara for Big Night Out. Well, we're not going anywhere at night, but it's a collab video, so what the hell. I'm going to stick that on, just tip your head back and give a no looking at my nostrils. It's really good quality, this camera, isn't it? To stick your head back and give your lashes a bit of a tickle from root to tip. You see? That's amazing for three quid. Wow, three or four quid. Brilliant. Blooming marvellous. And stick your head back again and stop spying up my nose. This camera's too good quality. Is it going to say all sorts? But you know what? What the hell? Dogs are barking now. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And then again on this side. Hey, up next is a Venetian princess look. Mm -hmm. I had a little talk to her because I do like our videos. And um, she sent a photo of what she would like me to do. Our favourite photo with our favourite makeup on. So that's what we're going to do whenever we do a Venetian princess inspired look. And I'm looking forward to it. Now we're using Modesty. And it's by MAC. And I think it's a cream sheen. Just apply that on the lower lip first. Now I don't have any powder on us. Because usually I like to pat it. So, because my lips are quite dark. I mean, look at that. They're quite dark without the lipstick, so it shows through and ruins the effect. So. Now, I'm going to have to add lib with the colour because I don't have that lipstick. So what i found here is this will work perfect. Collection, oh god, look what I've gone and got. The tester. I paid full price as well. <laughs> this is Paradise number 21 and it's a Dazzle Me Dust, I think it is. And I've got stuff all over my hand. Dip your little finger in. Hmm, because that burnt rust, the puppy's mucking about with the camera. Oh, you. There you go. Gives that rustic look. Do you know, I think I'll put the link up at the end for the photo. I'm going to store them all on Facebook and put links up for you. So you know what I'm on about when I say I'm going to do this look. Because if you use a picture of anybody that's not yours in your video, 
you can get done. And 10 to 1, someone will go, mmm, let's report. It's just not worth it. It's a lovely effect. And that is my Twilight inspired makeup look to go with the perfume launch. Yes, there's a perfume out. I can't wait to have a sniff. So if you like the look, check out Katie Puppet's channel. Hi! Puppy's eating her potty. Get off! And uh, I hope you enjoy the review she does. She does some canny funny ones, so check them out and let us know what you think of the look. Oh, and the quality of my video. Yee, I'm so excited. For the first time in how many years now? Well, it's been about two. Two years, 145 videos, 191 videos on. Finally got some nice quality video. Really hope you enjoy. YouTube, please don't wreck the quality when I upload this. Zoom, zoom.